That recent news out of Coeur d'Alene is just one recent example of allegations of racism in the Gem State. Arjun Binkley spoke to a local business owner who says he was the subject of a racist encounter over the weekend. Jude, what do you know? Well, Morgan, that type of rhetoric we're hearing about in Coeur d'Alene extends beyond northern Idaho, including into our communities right here in the Treasure Valley. Thank you. I got a 5618 all together. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. These store shelves are a time machine to the past, tucked in Meridian, where Dave Bazan has raised his family. I think 15 years ago as he uh, moved out here. And built his business, Time Zone Toys. This is a small toy community. The same people go, there's only like three shops like this. So everybody knows everyone. Or almost everyone. Bazan showed KTVB security video from over the weekend where a man was joking about stealing from his store. It got a little too much. Bazan confronted the customer who we observed turned to using several racist remarks and slurs. It was disgusting to see, you know, somebody just go straight there, you know, and for no reason at all, you know, to go to a race card like that. Bazan did not want to broadcast the security footage, but KTVB saw it and can confirm the details of his story. Bazan says this isn't the first time he's dealt with racist remarks at his business, but he's trying not to be angry or too upset over what happened. I mean, like, is that going to make anything better? You know, it's just like the, the world's messed up right now as it is, but to me going to fight over my skin color, what he thought of me, he had in his mind before he walked in the shop. He already didn't like me. He already didn't respect me. By me standing up to him and not dealing with that, he decided to just go straight to the, you know, you have that, you have those insults loaded, you know what I mean? Well, there's a, a heavier weight to these kinds of incidents and these kinds of words. ACLU of Idaho Communications Director Rebecca De Leon says racism is a problem that's been prevalent in Idaho for a long time. Black and brown people and now LGBTQ people also most specifically have been scapegoated as like they're the problem of everything. She says there is systemic racism in Idaho being reinforced by policy, culture, rhetoric and law. Idaho has not shown the leadership that is required to tear down racism. In fact, it has been going actively in the wrong direction. So we need to have a very serious conversation within ourselves ask ourselves, why are we okay with these kinds of things being supported and being said? Why do we not speak out against them? Speak out or simply. It's just be nice. I mean, there's not a reason to judge anybody on where they're from. De Leon says she wouldn't say racism in Idaho is stronger or worse than it's been in the past, but it does look different now. Morgan, she says it goes through iterations and really flares up when marginalized groups fight for equal rights and footing. Mm, Jude, thank you for that powerful story. We used to have a saying here in Idaho that it was too great for hate, but I know many are questioning that.